It is always a delight to come to the Catskill Mountains, but not in the summertime. Because in the summer there's an anti-Semite who works for the highway department. Every year on June 30th, he pulls out 300 orange rubber cones. They squeeze the Jews into one lane. They do nothing to the highway. Labor Day, they take the cones away. Some 90 miles north of the George Washington Bridge lie the Catskill Mountains, alias the Borscht Belt. People ask me, what is the history of the Catskill? What is its roots? And I answer, it is the third act of Fiddler on the Roof. Tevian wanted to leave the Lower East Side. Well, there were a lot of Tevians who felt that way. For generations, this famous resort area has catered in every sense to the New York Jewish community. There were very few places that were such a social epicenter at a particular time and place that will probably never be replicated again. Forget dirty dancing. It dwarfs compared to the real excitement that was up here. Your sports commentator drove up to New York's Catskill Mountains to look in on Wilton Chamberlain. He works as a bellhop, this seven foot one inch, 17 year old giant. And the list of comics out of the Catskill Mountains was huge. Danny Case, Jackie Mason, Sid Caesar working in our band, the Jerry Seinfeld, Bill Reiser, Bill Maher, Billy Crystal. People were asking for all the amenities. Do you have an indoor pool? Do you have a golf course? Do you have this? They wanted everything. Even though I asked many people, do you play golf? No. Do you like swimming? No, but I like to know that you have it. You need a monument to talk about a glorious history. We served hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people in a hundred years. Take a ride to the 